Hello learners, welcome in this session on BA Practical Activities Internship 1. I hope that you all are enjoying our BA program. You may be preparing for your first major practical component that is internship. This video will help you to understand all the components of internship 1. So dear learners, as you all may be aware that there are few practical components in our BA first year. The first such component is enhancing professional competencies courses commonly known as EPC courses. You are having two EPC courses in BA first year EPC 1 and EPC 2. Then you have internship 1. Then you have workshop 1. Internship 1 is basically a four credit four week full time school engagement experience where you are expected to go to a school to spend your time there to observe the classroom to observe the school to observe the teaching learning practices to observe the school environment in be it program basically we have two internships internship one and internship two in first year there is internship one which is of four credits and the duration of this internship is four weeks in second year you will again go for internship that is internship two which will be of 12 credit and duration of that internship will be 16 weeks so total 16 credit and 20 weeks internship is compulsory component in our BA program why internship because BA is a professional program so we try to engage you with the activities in the school which will develop you as a reflective practitioner there is a need to engage you with the students in classroom school and in community as well internships provide you opportunities to enhance your skills of teaching and participating in all kinds of school activities because when you will become a teacher you will not only teach there you will take part actively in all the school activities for conducting your internship, you need a school where you will conduct your internship. We ask our learners to choose the school where they will do their internship. So you have to select any upper primary means class 6 to 8 or higher or senior secondary school which can provide facilities to carry out internship. This school will be your own school if you are a teacher and these classes are there. If you are a primary teacher or not teaching anywhere, then the school in your neighborhood can work as an internship school or you can choose any school which should be a government recognized school. The school can be a private school, the school can be a government school, the school can be an aided school. Actually, all schools are not similar. Hence, you need to experience the uniqueness and differences among the schools for developing a broader understanding of education system. That's why we suggest you to select a main internship school and a different in, and a different school for one week internship. So apart from school one, you also need to select another school that is called school setting two to undertake the internship in diverse context. If you have chosen an urban school as your main internship school, then you can choose any rural school or a school in tribal area. As I have told you, if you have selected a government school from an urban area, then the other school that you select may be a private school, preferably located in a rural or tribal area. Because out of four weeks of the internship one, you need to spend one week in this school to gain the diverse and varied experience. Now, when you are selecting a school for internship, you need to submit a performer duly signed by the principal of your internship school when you will go for the admission to our regional centers at the time of your admission in BA program you must have submitted a performa which was signed by the principal of a school which will be your internship school so you are advised to complete your all internship activities at that school only in the school you need to identify your mentors who are mentors a mentor can be a senior trained teacher of your internship school or the head of the school or the principal. You are suggested that you identify mentors for both teaching subjects. You have two teaching subjects in BA. You submit their details or the biodata to your study center that who are your mentors. 
Mentors will guide you, support you and help you in planning, in organizing the activities as well as in providing the feedback on the activities which will be undertaken by you at your internship school. After selecting mentors, let us discuss about certain activities. But before discussing the activities which you will undertake during the internship, let us discuss the activities which are the part of your EPC courses. Your EPC courses are also practical courses and in first year there are basically two EPC courses reading and reflecting on the texts and application of ICT. If you go through the study material related to EPC courses and our handbook of practical activities for be it first year. For each EPC course there are four activities out of which two activities you need to complete during your internship period and rest of two activities of each course will be completed during the workshop. So the activities which you will complete during the internship period, report of those activities you will submit at your study center during the workshop one. Now, let us see what are different activities of internship one apart from EPC. One is the school observation. You need to observe the school where you are going as an intern. This is one credit activity. Then there is classroom observation, which you need to do in both the teaching subjects. Then there is observation of a diverse school context, means the second school which you have chosen where you will go for one week. Then you need to organize any two activities out of these three. You can conduct a case study of a learner, you can address the school assembly, or you can organize community service campaign. So out of these three activities, you need to complete any two during your internship period. Let us discuss about these activities. Activity one, school observation. Actually in our uh, handbook of the practical activities for be it first year, we have given school observation schedule. You go through that schedule, you plan and conduct the school observation based on the criteria given in that schedule. You discuss various aspects of the school with the teachers, the students and other stakeholders and obtain information about different aspects, those aspects of the school which are there in the observation schedule. And you also reflect on the school's role in creating and maintaining conducive learning environment in the school. You are required to prepare a report as directed in your handbook. The report of this activity you will submit during your workshop one. Similarly, there is another activity, activity two, classroom observation. You have to observe 20 lessons. Because you have two teaching subjects, two content based methodology courses, you may have science and math, you may have English and Hindi, you may have social science or English, but you are having two methodology courses. So for both the courses, you need to observe 10, 10 lessons of those teachers who are actually teaching those subjects in that school, in your internship school. You go through different criteria of the observation, which are already given in a classroom observation schedule, which is in your handbook as appendix two. You reflect on effective classroom teaching learning practices and you are required to prepare two separate reports for both teaching subjects which would be submitted along with duly completed classroom observation schedule as per each content based methodology course. Then observation of the diverse school. The performa will remain same school observation schedule which you have used in activity one but here school settings have changed. Now you are in a different school. So observe this school on the criteria which has already given there. Then you discuss various aspects of the school with the teachers, students and other stakeholders of this school. Then reflect on the school's role in creating and maintaining quality learning environment in this setting. And you again require to prepare a comparative report in about 1200 words that how this school and the school which you have observed in activity one are different on various criteria which have been given in the school observation schedule. This report you will submit at the time of workshop. Please remember that when you are doing this internship for one month, you need to submit these dates in advance to your study center because your study center will send one teacher educator during your internship period to observe your internship activities. So one teacher educator can make three visits during the internship period to your internship school. 
and the mentor who is observing or facilitating you if there are more teachers in your school who are doing beard from ignu then one mentor can observe maximum two student teachers in one session then is the activity 4 case study of a learner actually in this activity you need to identify a student basically whose case study you will do you can select a student with exceptional talent in sports and arts you can select a student with special needs student facing difficulty in studies some behavioral problem students adjustment problem students any students have some deviation from the normal so you collect the data about that student from different sources you can ask uh, teachers you can meet his or her friends you can go to the parents of that st student and collect the data and also suggest that what problem the student is facing and how he or she can overcome those difficulties so when you will complete the case study of the learner you are actually required to prepare a report about in 750 words your report should include the identification of the problem the case history of the student the collection and interpretation of the data the findings and suggestions given by you to support that learner so this is one optional activity the another activity is community service campaign you all know that a school is a part of a community so you can choose any theme of socially useful campaigns such as nutrition sanitation blood or organ donation environmental protection or protection of consumer rights any topic you can choose and your own context so plan a campaign motivate and involve your students by taking the permission from your principal that i want to organize a campaign then you take cooperation from the local agencies the educational institutions the key persons in the locality who will actually help you to organize this campaign then you organize the campaign evaluate and reflect on the usefulness of this campaign for both the schools and the community and prepare a report it is suggested to you that you can include the photographs the method which you adopted to organize the campaign why you have chosen that campaign what is its impact on the society and the school all these things you can put in the report of the activity the third activity is addressing school assembly under activity 4 so for this you can choose any two themes which are appropriate to the students they may be related to socio economic problem environmental issues value education national or international issues or any issue which is emerging at that time then you plan the assembly and you motivate and involve your students in that assembly you organize and address your school assembly you evaluate your address by collecting feedbacks from the other teachers and the students of the school and reflect on the assembly and its usefulness for the students that why you have taken this particular topic in school assembly one more important thing is that the day you plan that you are going to start your internship you start thinking about maintaining records and writing a reflective diary what a reflective diary is and how you can write it when you write a reflective diary it is expected from you that you write and maintain your reflective diary for all the activities during the internship so that you can get a clear overview of your learning experiences in schools during the internship your reflective diary basically help you to understand your strength and weaknesses as a learner and to realize learning strategies which suit your personal needs your reflective diary make you capable of overcoming learning difficulties through self evaluation and improving yourself as a teacher how to write reflective diary this has been discussed in detail in the handbook of beard first year practical activities so please write reflective diary from day 1 till the end of your internship so that it will help you in reflecting that what you have learned i hope that this discussion will help you in organizing your internship properly still if you have any confusion you can email us at soe@ignu.ac.in happy learning keep enjoying be a great teacher thank you very much